everyone. Welcome back to the Marcus Today YouTube channel. We're glad to have you here. Um, today, I want to show us how we made this uh, beautiful uh, baby beanie. This beanie fits a baby who's a newborn up to the point when he or she will be um, three months to six months old. All right. We just used um, yarn we had um, left over and then um, some other yarn to beautify it this way, um, some four yarn. So essentially, you're going to be needing um, whatever yarn you have available. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need, a, I used a, a six millimeter hook, yeah, for this ribbed part of the hook, uh, of the of the, of the the beanie. And essentially, your tip, a baby's head measures about 15 inches uh, round, and then um, it has a, a measurement of about five to six inches from the crown to about the ear point all right uh so this essentially yeah would go around the baby's head and of course it would sit snugly around the baby's head i use this rib crochet because of its ability to just hug you whether it is your head or your body all right are you new to our channel would like for you to subscribe right uh, check out our videos every week we bring you videos on, on summaries of what we posted during the week on our instagram handle all of that is going to be in the description box below and then if you are a return um, viewer if you already subscribed we're glad to have you we do not take you for granted we will do stay on and enjoy the video all right so without wasting time this is what we use we just want to make a replica of the same uh hat that we made all right so, so for for beginning we're gonna to uh, we're gonna start making the the length as in from the crown all the way to around the ears for this one we have to chain 25 we chain 25 and then an extra one so i'm just gonna go straight to it one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then an extra one. All right, this we have the length we need. At this point of chaining, when we chain 25, we're going to have a length of about, um, yeah, this is seven inches long. All right. So without wasting our time, see where you have this, um, the chain, we're going to be walking into this loop here. All right. We're going to walk into here, right? So we're going to be walking single crochet stitches into every single one of them across. At the end of the day, we should have 25 single crochet stitches. All right. So just keep walking into that loop right there. Do this loop right here. And then we'll um, meet me up here at the end of the chains. So we're here at the end of um, the chains. We just have one chain left. So we're going to do our single crochet stitch into that, into that chain. And then we chain one and turn around. Now, on this uh, second row and every other row, whenever we do our chain and turn and walk around, we're going to be walking into this back loop right back loop only single crochet all the way around back loop only single crochet 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 all the way to the end when we get to that end we will chain one again turn our work and then repeat this process of a back loop only single crochet stitches for the number of rows you create is going to have to measure when you stretch it just a little bit it's going to have to measure the 15 inches that is supposed to go around the baby's head so essentially in rest position you'll probably have to get about 12 inches in rest position say about this so that by the time it stretches it stretches the extra or maybe up to 13 inches um in rest position all right so i'm just going to go work and then when i come back we'll let you know just how many rows we got at the end of the day see you back here soon have a, a length of uh, this is 12 and a half um, inches right here Okay, and all together we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 
28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, um, 44, 46, 48 rows. At this point, we're actually ready to join. So what we're going to do is we're going to be joining um, these two sides like this to create this effect. All right. So as usual, we have chained one, right? And then we're going to turn this work this way. So essentially, we just continue. So what we did or what we do is that we, you know, back loops only still. But this time around, we're going to pick up the first stitch here. Let me open that up well. So first stitch, we pick up and then we slip stitch. All right. All of this part is going to be a slip stitch rather than a single crochet. So this joining row is a slip stitch row. All right. Back loop only. Second stitch and slip stitch. Back loop only. Third stitch. So you can see it properly and then slip stitch back loop only so i'm gonna do this until i get to the end so keep doing this and then meet me up here at the end of the of the row we're almost at the end And then the last bit into the last hole. And then a slip stitch and final slip stitch. All right, so we have this here now. We're going to cut rope long enough to sew. Right, and then pull this out and tighten it. Now note, this is the wrong side because we have all these rough edges. So we're going to then I'll turn. All right, so I pick up my needle. And so. All right, so here goes. So on this point, I'm just going to pick the tops. that take this right then also go in there like that um this is out here so come back in go out come in go out come in pull pull and come back in this is out come back in and pull all right so this thread has to be out here Come back in and pull. Right? I have this. And then I pick these up. Mm -hmm. And just do that. Yeah, and then this here on the opposite side. Okay, we are satisfied. Put this up. So these two. 
or tie them up properly. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna turn it. Yeah, this is what we have on this side. Okay, so to neaten this up to make it look very beautiful, we want to use this four yarn to edge it. So this is what we're gonna do immediately without um, wasting our time. Let's just pick a point. So this here in there. Now, because um, a single crochet worked in this four yarn is definitely fatter than a row in this um, ribbed, because usually we're supposed to put one in the in the in the ridge here, yeah, sorry, in the gully and then on the ridge. So what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to do two and skip one. So I've created a single crochet stitch here. I'm going to create another single crochet stitch here, and then I'm going to skip this valley. So I work on the ridge and the next valley, and then I skip the ridge. So valley next, and then on the ridge, and I skip the valley. Ridge and valley, and I skip the ridge. Valley next, and the ridge, then we skip the valley ridge and valley skip the ridge valley and ridge i'm gonna do this until i get to the other side So we have this. We're going to capture this in here somehow. Grab it, let it come back in. Okay, so it's in there. So yeah, this is it. We're going to clean this up and then do our final, um, you know, walk around. So this is it essentially. There are now two of them. Okay. So um, let me know your thoughts about the video in our comment section. If there's any part about this video which you do not understand or did not understand, do ask us in the comments and we would not hesitate to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching. And bye for now. Let's see what you get to create with your ribbed and for yeah. Bye now.